Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an overall general energy reading for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Keep in mind, Virgo, I trust that when these messages find you, they find you at the right time. All of my readings are timeless. Virgo, I hope this message finds you while you're in good health and good will. And I hope that you do something you love today, Virgo, simply because you can. Virgo, I love you. You know that? You don't even got to love me back. I just love you. There's nothing you can do about it. You're loved today. I love you. You can't stop me. Virgo, I don't know if I said it, but I hope this message finds you while you're in good health and good will. I think I did. It's going to be for my Virgo sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Justice. Okay, Virgo. Death reverse. Nine of Swords. Cool. The full Five of Swords reverse, Page of Cups. Virgo, there is a new opportunity, a specific opportunity, or you've been desiring some new opportunities. You've just been desiring a new reality, right? You were fed up with this old reality of feeling unseen, unheard, unloved by people that were supposed to be friends or like close to you. They were supposed to have your best interest at heart, right? And I feel as though over time, you, you've kind of come to see, could be dealing with a Libra, could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you've kind of come to see that, um, I don't know, you saw where their loyalty lies, right? To start your spread off, we have the Justice card. And this is speaking to wrongs being righted, balance being restored, just finding some type of equilibrium or coming to some realization that brings in some type of equilibrium, balance, you know, equal give and take, equal give and pull, right? On a cosmic scale. But with, with death also being here, in reverse, it tells me that there's some trans, some change that is you've been meaning to make or you've been wanting to make for a while that has just been, it's been hard for you to make, right? And in terms of justice, it tells me, with justice being first, it tells me that you know that your world will feel like it's in balance, right, Virgo? You will feel balanced or like you are in a reality where you can exist without, you know, the anxiety, the uncomfortableness of just being yourself, right? That will come as soon as this change happens, right? So this justice is not telling me that things are in balance. This is telling me that you think or feel as though things will be balanced once you make this change or once this change happens within your environment, within your reality, right? <clears throat> because right now, Virgo, I'm seeing you as a very self-conscious energy, right? You're very aware of yourself and you're very aware of, I don't know, I feel like you're in this uh, hyper, sort of like a hyper emotional state like you're focusing too much on you but it might not be your fault it could be these people places and things right with this fool and the five of swords reverse this tells me this is the new beginning you're desiring you're desiring a new beginning away from these people places and things that do not have your best interests at heart but they portray themselves to be as such right so i think it is these people that is kind of bringing you into this like overly state of awareness of self like you're like criticizing yourself even right when you don't need to be it's just these people these shitty ass people that they want you to be like that they want you to feel that but that's exactly the change that needs to happen or the change that you've been wanting to make happen virgo the change that you will be making happen with this fool right here this tells me that you're going to step into this you're going to step into a reality even if it's one that you know nothing about even if you don't have a clue about where the first step is where the, what the first what to do next right you're going to take that for yourself because you're tired of sitting in this like energy of having to walk on eggshells or feel like you know feel like people will say one thing to you but then go behind your back and, and just talk shit or do another thing right you're tired of 
being in that environment, Virgo, you want justice, right? You want there to be some type of balance, some type of happiness, some type of some type of just realness, right? You want to be surrounded by real people in your environment. And I know that because with this page of cups and the eight of pentacles, it's like you're willing to do the work, right? To get these new opportunities, to put yourself in positions, in a position to have new experiences, new opportunities, new new offers of love even, right? You're willing to do the work. You're willing to transform. You're willing to change with this butterfly on the eight of pentacles. So I see in the center of your reading, we have death in the reverse, but I almost feel like this reading is going backwards, but like we're going to flow with it, but um, like the spread, but you're doing the work necessary in order to kind of switch realities, right? You see how they're facing back to back. It's like, this is you doing the work over here and in the back of your mind, you're, you're doing that work because you want new, you want this new, you want these new opportunities, these new beginnings, this fresh start, right? And you want to do it, um, you want to do it the right way, right? So you want, you don't want to leave these energies how they, you don't want to leave this environment how it's making you feel, which is really good on you, Virgo, because it's making you feel super like, just, it. They're. I feel like they're trying to make you feel ashamed of something or you make, or they're trying to, or it, they, it, whatever. The environment that you find yourself in could be a job, could be, you know, family dynamic, a relationship, that whatever it is, they're not being how, like how your job should care about you to some degree, right? How your family should care about you. These are not energies that are kind of caring about you. They're kind of watching you sit, maybe even inducing this energy of you being in the nine of swords, being like, like you know, self-conscious and just ain't anxious and staying up at night, overthinking the situations and scenarios that you found yourself in, overthinking conversations even, you know, it's like they want, they're doing things to make you feel like that, to make you want to just shut off, right? The eye, this woman's, woman's eyes are closed, but all of the other eyes are like open on her body or whatever, right? So I feel like they're just, you're not, basically what I was saying is you're not trying to match that you're not trying to leave this energy the way that they are trying to make you feel, right? You're not trying to leave this five of swords, even though you know there is no coming back for this connection, right? There is no mending this or because they've put you in this nine of swords energy, right? Because they've put you in a position to where it's like possibly even they kind of made you think that you're dependent on them, right? They, they kind of made you think that they're all you have or it is all you have right but you know deep down that's not true because you have the fool the eight of pentacles and the page of cups you know that there's more out there you know that there's better out there there's you know that there's a reality out there in which you deserve to be a part of right you deserve to be a part of a reality that is going to love you and cherish you for who you are virgo the real you not the you that they're trying to break down look i feel like these people this five of swords reverse they're trying to break you down right they're trying to break you down so that they can mold you into what they want you to be virgo and that's what they're doing with this nine of swords right we're gonna clarify though but i don't know i feel you see beyond that i feel that you you still have all your marbles i feel you still have two feet in reality right and another foot somewhere else or I don't know but I feel like you're still very present and very aware with what is going on around you and your surroundings especially with justice here it's like you're not gonna let things get to the point to where they do break you for however they want you to be or mold you to be you're not gonna let them get to that point right because we also have death here it tells me that you you know like in your in your peripheral right you know that the change is 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 necessary you know it's near all you have to do is just take that extra step and remove yourself from these energies, right? From this five of swords energy and then embody this full energy, take that leap of faith and just move on, get away from these motherfuckers. But you're willing to do the work, right? You're willing to do whatever is necessary to leave these people and on to better environments. But what I was saying earlier is that you're not matching their energy of trying to, you're not trying to leave the connection how this connection made you feel right because you want your new beginning to be something that is rooted in love 
genuine caring, stability, all that. So you're going to release this even though, and I say that because if the Five of Swords is upright, I'll be like, oh, you're releasing it in a way that's like, kind of like, like someone was really hurt and like kind of you released it in a petty way or they released you in a petty way. But with the Five of Swords reverse, it just tells me that you know that this, this has ran its course, right? Your relationship, your connection with these people, places and things has ran its course. There is no coming back from it, at least not on your end. You don't want that. You want new, you want different and you're willing to put in the work. So because of that, because you want new and you want something that's going to be real and last, you're going to leave this Yes, you know that there's no coming back from it, but because you know that, it's like, okay, why even why even leave it on a petty, like dirty, foul note, right? If I want, because what you put out is gonna come back to you, right? Even if they did you wrong, 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 their karma's coming to them, right? Justice is already here for them. Justice is here. You releasing yourself, like them not having you, Virgo, is what's gonna be their karma. They're gonna feel it when you're gone. You're not gonna feel it when you leave them, right? Because they're trying to fucking manipulate you into feeling some type of way, some type of shitty way at that, Virgo. But they're going to feel it when you're gone because you brought a genuine heart with you, right? A genuine connection. You tried to help them grow and change and, you know, become better versions of themselves. But they didn't want to, right? With this death in reverse, they didn't want to change. They didn't want to grow. They didn't want to expand their mind, their being, their situation. They just wanted to put all their focus and sights on you and try to make turn you into some somebody or make you feel like you're somebody you're not but you knew who you were the whole time right and that's why you released these people you took this new beginning and you moved on good job virgo page of swords on the bottom on the split king of swords i'm gonna get your overall energy virgo king of swords it just tells me that you were looking at it from the higher perspective this whole time i'm not gonna take these shit i might though Overall energy, chariot reverse and the seven of wands reverse. Yeah. You stop fighting those energies. You stop putting up with those energies. It's ten of pentacles reverse, king of pentacles reverse, right? Seven of swords. Look, these energies, all they, all they brought with them was just negativity. All they brought with them was disappointment. All they brought with them was false hope, really, right? And you got fed up with that. Major Arcana number seven, the chariot, right? You're not moving forward. There, this was overall energy is you got fed up with being unsuccessful when you know that you have all of the potential and ability within you to be successful and succeed at whatever you want to do, right? So your overall energy is not moving forward anymore with anything that's going to be unsuccessful, people, places, and things. In this case, pro most likely people, right? These people is what was leading to you not these people were trying to prevent you from changing and growing, right? These people were facilitating these negative emotions of the self, stressing out, um, being anxious, staying up at night, overthinking just your being and who you are, right? And you're not moving forward with that, right? You're not putting up a fight. You're not fighting to stay in these connections anymore. No, your seven of wands is in reverse, right? So this tells me because you stop that, because you stop doing whatever you're doing with them, entertaining them, being a part of their lives, whatever, because you release them, you release yourself, right? You break free of them. Look, 10 of Pentacles reverse, King of Pentacles reverse. There is no abundance, no prosperity, no, no fortune, no happy family, no happiness, right? There's nothing of that here, right? And then the Seven of Swords to come out next is like, look, these people were just fucking sneaky little haters, right? These people, this person, they just wanted you, they wanted to make sure you would never touch what you knew you could touch if, you, because you were in a transformative state of being and you were trying to facilitate their growth and transformations as well because they didn't, they just wanted to make sure that you would never touch this 10 of pentacles, this king of pentacles, right? They wanted to keep it in reverse by keeping secrets, secrets being them knowing the truth of who you are and your potential and your power, right? But them keeping that to themselves, them not wanting you to reach and touch your full potential. So they really just, just lied to you. They just lied to themselves. They lied to each other, right? Trying to keep you in this fragile state of being. That shit's whack as fuck. Knight of Wands, you're moving on and out in a way. Look, you deserve passionate new beginnings. Look, 
you were it was the cage was unlocked the whole time with this eight of swords they just didn't they didn't want they didn't want you to see your wings really they did not want you to see your wings virgo you're a freaking earth angel come on but because of all of this transpires right because all of this transpires all it does is bring you closer to source right judgment in reverse four cups reverse all it does is bring you closer this having to go through this experience and this process with these people these shitty people all it did was reconnect you with yourself on a deeper level virgo that's all it did six of swords on the split better days ahead and you're going straight towards them because you know what you deserve now you've i feel deep down you've always known what you you you've known what you didn't deserve at least you knew what you did not deserve right virgo so move on break free free yourself stop moving forward with any of these fuck ass energies and break free get out of that cage that they wanted to keep you in that really was never even there they were just terrible people clarify the justice card spirit Ooh. Ten of Wands. So the balance being restored is like you've been you were you were dealing with this for way too long, right? So justice had to step in. So even if it wasn't you that necessarily made a choice to leave these people or quit fucking with them or whatever, it's like justice stepped in because this cycle with these people, places and things that were really just robbing you of joy, of like robbing you of the truth about your potential and who you are trying to make you doubt yourself right that cycle came to a completion right you learned everything you were going to learn from these people places and things friends family whatever you learned everything you were going to learn from them and carrying them on your back any longer you trying to help them transform and you trying to help them change and be better people and be nicer people kinder people more loving people like that spirit saw that that was not going to happen right that was not that that's not the plan that they had for themselves right um and if they if people don't want to do something they're not going to do it right they're not going to do it just because you want them to do it if they're sh if they're shitty people right if they saw you which i think they did but if they knew if they saw you for you and saw that you were actually trying to help them if they weren't so focused on trying to watch you fall and fail maybe they would have you know took took some of your advice and uh, like tried to change as well clarifying the death reverse we have the queen of cups reverse so this just tells me like over time it got like with this ten of wands it just got really tiresome for you to stay connected and invested emotionally within this situation that was not changing right this situation that you were in for a long time that was not there was no progress being made on it Virgo this tells me that you eventually just kind of shut off emotionally right and I think that's what brings you into this nine of swords you just stopped investing emotionally and because you are a Virgo with such a big heart right it's like when you have to take your emotions out of it it just kind of ruins the whole the whole point of being in the connection right whether it's a friend family whatever it's like I have friends and family and I have all these people if I have you know however you however your life goes for you you have these people because you want to experience in like experience emotion with them right you want to be happy with them sad with them mad at them right but because this connection was just it was on repeat it was just you giving all of yourself to it or them and being returned with like kind of like some negative emotions right it wasn't like you were exchanging emotion anymore it was just it was just you trying and them just trying to like shit on you and that's that's lame right but that that has you draw back out of the connection out of withdraw your emotions right and look the nine of swords is clarified by the king of cups so this is uh, like i said you're just like hyper aware i feel like you're just so because you had to take your emotions out of the connection with them it made you focus inwardly on yourself right now all of your emotions were focused on you and that's what has you in this overthinking over over analyzing right you're just over you're thinking too much about 
where you fit in the environment, in the situation, right? And that's not your fault. That's because these were shitty people that this was their intention, right? But with your overall energy being chariot reverse and the seven of wands reverse, it's like you're breaking free out of that, right? Free and on to better different days with this queen of wands and the 10 of cups. It's like you're moving, now you're moving into a direction, into a place, into a reality, a period of time in your life, Virgo, where because they broke you down or tried to break you down, you just, come, that makes you tap in with yourself so much harder. This King of Cups is the, it's, it's, it's a benefit to you, right? So although you might be looking inwardly, like emotionally a lot and maybe hyper-focusing on it sometimes, because you do that, you're able to see what needs to be healed, right? And so you start doing that healing with the Queen of Wands. You start empowering yourself. You start building yourself back up, right? You might even meet a new connection that sees you for who you are with this Ten of Cups. But regardless, it's just now you're in a position because you had to go through this experience with these people, place, thing, whatever, because you had to go through that, because you were kind of stripped of, robbed of, certain certain joys within this energetic contract like they were not fulfilling person place thing was not fulfilling the, their end of the energetic contract right their end of the bond you guys had they were kind of defacing it they were kind of like um they vandalizing the contract like right, right by doing you how they did you but because with that king of cups it's like it just plays to your advantage clarifying the nine of swords so yes it was a very anxious and heavy and hard time for you to sort through but because of that you were able to kind of look at yourself in a different light right in a light that you might not have been so aware of if you did not go through this experience right with these people now you're going straight towards the ten of cups right you're in the queen of wands energy being people are seeing you now these people that remember when i said it like is their loss like they're gonna they're gonna feel it when you leave but you're not gonna feel it when they leave because their whole life was centered around you, right? Their their whole existence probably was just fucking, let's see how we can push Virgo's buttons today. Let's see how we can take Virgo down today, right? Yeah, that got hella tiresome for you, but eventually you put down the wands, right? Eventually you took your emotions out of the situation. You qu quit investing in those people, those energies in general, and you started to look inward and do some self work. And then you found your power, you found your light, that inner light that was always inside of you this whole time, Virgo. You were just surrounded by some mm, mm, mm people, right? And now because of that, it's like, now because you're empowered by yourself, like through yourself, the only thing left to do is just achieve your dreams, get your dreams with people, places, and things that are also in alignment with the path that you want to be on, right? Under that, the Hermit Knight of Cups, shit under that the tower hermit and knight of cups this inward look you took all offers of love off the table right to everyone people place and thing that was not genuinely having your best interest at heart right you were fed up with being let down being abused emotionally psychologically however it may fit and resonate right you took all offers of love off the table and started to give that love to yourself with the hermit virgo energy right here you gave it back to yourself. And because of that, your whole world transforms. The Tower and the Three of Wands. These both look like the Tower, huh? Except one is the the falling of and one is the rising of, right? The Tower came first. So this tells me after you do go inward and focus on that healing and you break out of these chains and away from the people, places, and things that are not facilitating your success, you allow that to fall. You allow that experience to fall and be what it was and you learn from it. And now on the three of wands, you come out on top, re, re, risen from the ashes, right? Like a phoenix, right? Now you're on top again. And now the world is in your hands. You're just waiting. Now you're just waiting for opportunities in people, places and things to come to you because you no longer have to seek them out, right? You just know they're coming because of the energy you're embodying with that queen of wands because oh my goodness because with the six of pentacles and the high priestess because through this transformation that you allowed to take place that you chose for yourself right that you made happen you refined stability balance contentness and 
wholeness within yourself and your reality in the 3D, right? And that in turn, it just taps you into your intuition. This is that knowing that you know that things are going to find you now. You don't have to go looking for them because you can be you can be anywhere in the world because you know yourself now to this level and to this degree at which you do, Virgo, because you know internally and externally that you can weather any storm. It just it it brings this sense of like confidence and just like knowingness that you will always land on whatever pinnacle you set your sights on. Ooh, Virgo. That was a good reading. Eight of Cups reverse. Don't get caught up in the should I stay, should I go. You know what cycles have ran their course, Virgo. You know what the world. Let that shit go. Let it go. Advice from spirit. Eight of Swords reverse. Yeah, break free. Get out of that cage. It's not there. It's, it's like, it's all in your mind. It's like, they free yourself. You know how to. Advice from spirit. Strength, the emperor, and the king of wands. Virgo. Oh, Jesus. This is a power spread right here. Bottom of the deck, the hermit. Look, through your, through your withdrawn of energy, withdrawnness of energy, through your isolation potentially, through your looking inward on the self and doing that healing, right? Through that, that is where you'll find your real power. That is when you'll find yourself. That is when you will find who you really are. These, this, the, the person that they were trying to keep you from, the person that they were trying to make you doubt, but you already, you always knew deep down inside of you that you had the potential to do all these great things and be this loving and caring person, right? Compassionate person. The person they were trying to make you doubt, that is who you will find when you look inward, when you just do that work. And then you'll be able to pull that person out of you, right? You'll be able to nurture yourself in whatever ways you need to nurture yourself and tend to your wounds, right? That they inflicted on you or the, even the past wounds that you might have inflicted on yourself or whatever in the past. But you'll through that inward self work you'll be able to nurture the parts of you that need to be healed right and you'll be able to it now you'll be able to see with the emperor right this was a strength now with the emperor you'll be able to see what you are willing to put up with what you're not willing to put up with what is what is like you know you'll just know yourself and your boundaries to a degree at which nobody ever ever doesn't matter who they are will be able to sway you this way or that way when it comes to your boundaries now you know your boundaries are your boundaries you're not going to put up with certain shit and even if you knew it in the past what you weren't willing to put up with now you won't ever put up with it you know what i mean and then king of wands to end your advice this is spirit saying like tend to your wounds that need to be tended to understand that you are changing set new boundaries re revise your boundaries if you need to right like um you're not the same virgo you were before you went through this experience right so revise those boundaries with yourself and now with the king of wands embody the vibrant beautiful and powerful being that you are right make it known that you did this work right but don't do it with your words just just do it with your presence, with your energy, right? Because people can feel when, when, when these people, especially too, that, that got left behind, that were trying to do this and that to you, whatever, these people will be able to, if they see you, if they ever even get the chance to see you in public, right? Because with this emperor, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if you'll be in the same vicinity as them, but if they do ever get the chance, Virgo, they're going to, you're not going to have to say shit because they're going to see and know and feel how much you've healed from that right so set yourself free tend to the wounds that need to be tended to so that you can heal set new boundaries because you're not the same motherfucker no mo right and own your fucking power own all of that bullshit that you had to go through own it own it light yourself on fire not literally but like let let all of the ups and downs the struggles the highs and the lows let them mean something let them set your soul on fire right let them create this passion, this hunger in you to prove a point to yourself that you are who you always knew you were, Virgo. That was your reading, Virgo. I love you guys. <laughs>